guys. This is the first proper moto vlog. First proper moto vlog I'm gonna do. First day I have my microphone. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked. Let's just hope people will be watching now. They enjoy my videos a lot more. And my driving. Oh, that's too fast. So yeah, so what am I going to talk about this first proper model vlog uh, is probably the delivery date on my Kawasaki Z1000 Tsugomi. I'm still driving around with this test model. Not that I'm complaining because I don't have to drive it in, I don't have to maintain it, I don't have to do whatever to it. I just have to go to the garage and tell them what to do, so they... Because it's their bike, basically. It's not mine. But, um... Last week I was there, and they told me it was gonna take another week for it to be delivered. It was on its way, or something like that. But, um... Yeah, I just I'll, I'll just have to wait, I guess. But as I said, I'm not complaining about getting this test Sukumi to drive around with. It's just, it's just that I don't want to clean it. <laughs> I know it's pretty lame, pretty lame, but I just I don't want to clean it. I don't want to. I just want to put gas in it. That's about it. And for the rest, I'm just driving it, cruising around with this motherfucker. Opening the throttle very, very wide. I missed that corner. Uh, I'm not completely used to this bike yet. And if I'm not, if I'm saying I'm not used, I'm, I'm not used to the throttle. I've been riding a 650 ER6N for like two years. So this bike's throttle is really sensitive compared to that. But the turning is really good as you can see. That's going pretty well, except for this bump here. There we go. But yeah, the throttle. This thing is fucking dangerous, okay? It's just plain dangerous. But if you open it like that, like I do with the 650 sometimes, then you're gone. With this bike, you're gone. If you do it in first gear, your wheel will come up. In second gear, your wheel will come up. In third gear, if you're lucky, your wheel will come up. If you're opening the throttle, if you're at like 3k rpm and driving on the freeway in fifth or sixth gear even then if you open up the throttle it's gone this bike will be gone but is that a bad thing no it's not it's just dangerous other than that the mirrors i will change I they're good mirrors, they're nicely cast and everything, but it's just... No. <clears throat> no! We're not gonna do it. Then the GPS thing, I have to find a solution for that because it's cramping the style of the steering. missing about with it it's it, it looks like something sticking out of the steering that's not that doesn't belong there but I need it because I'm an idiot if it comes to roads if it comes to knowing my way somewhere I'm a damn idiot my girlfriend she hates it she's like how the fuck can you not remember a 15 minute drive and I'm like I don't know but I've been having this since I was young, driving around with the bike. I had to do a road like four, five or six times, the same road, to be able to memorize it. 
and it's just not because I'm it's not because I'm stupid it's just because I'm doing too many other things while driving like in this case talking and most of the time I'm looking around this driver is really friendly thank you but uh, what was I saying uh, roads yes I can't remember roads not after the fifth time or something uh, sometimes it embarrasses me that people are explaining road to me and I'm like dude you don't have to do that because go to the right there and do that roundabout and take the fifth exit and do that I'll, I've already forgotten what you've said after take the roundabout and that's the second thing you said because it's an entire list of things you say when 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 you're showing me a road but no no it doesn't work on me it doesn't work it doesn't work but come on BMW I hope this bus ain't in trouble. Uh, oh, it's fine. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. This bike is dangerous. Let's just calm down a bit. Um, so yeah, I was talking about roads and about the bike. Kawasaki Z1000 Sugomi. My mom said it's crazy. Kenny said it's crazy. A lot of people say it's crazy. Well, I like it. I like it a lot. Yes. And it's not it's it's not it's it's not because it's Kawasaki. I like Kawasaki though. I also like Harley Davidson, but those bikes are too expensive. I don't. It, it's. It's not that I can't afford a Harley Davidson. It's just I don't want to be driving around with it every day. And imagine yourself pulling through a street like this, 6 in the fucking morning, with a Harley Davidson, people will not be happy. But other than that, I like Harley Davidsons. Yeah. They make me look like a real biker. <laughs> what is this stench? Anyway. Um, Harley Davidsons, yeah. A lot of people ask me why, if, why I didn't buy another, a Harley Davidson since I ordered a new bike anyway. Why isn't it a Harley Davidson? Well, over this reason. on the throttle and everyone will wake up with a Harley Davidson but this bike <coughs> it also makes a lot of noise but it's different so yeah see that guy everyone's looking at the fucking bike all the guys are looking at the bike but I ain't seen no girls looking at it though they've been telling me this is a pussy magnet and it's not that I'm looking for pussy but I haven't seen any girl looking at it to be honest or I'm just not watching while they're watching my point is, uh, it's more being, it's being more of a dick magnet than a pussy magnet. We don't really want that, do we? Anyway, yeah. Um, there we go. And, uh, two other guys that were watching. The woman that was stepping towards the bus stop didn't even flinch towards looking at this bike or me. about this attention I like it and I don't like the attention because 
sometimes people are staring at you like eh, it's another biker and at the same time they're jealous because you have a bike and they don't maybe I don't know it's, it's just lame You have the same thing with car drivers. Sometimes if you pay attention when you're, a dri when you're driving your bike, or a motorcycle in this case, if people are interested in motorcycles in general, even if they're sitting in a the car, they will still watch, they will still look at you. At every motorcycle driver there is, every motorcycle driving around, or, or driving past, or, or filtering, or whatever, they will look at it. If it's for two seconds, maybe they don't like it, then, but they're still looking. And then you have the people who are completely frigid to motorcycles. They're like, I don't know, they don't like him or they don't give a fuck. It's just, they're frigid. They don't look, S just staring forward at the stoplight or at whatever the fuck they're looking but the motorcycle is passing with all the noise and all its glamour and they don't look up well I don't say you have to look up but with motorcycles you kind of have to because they, they, they're there are happening so many accidents with motorcycles where people just didn't see the, the, the motorcyclist and that's just because or they're not paying attention or they're blocking it out I don't know what it is but which is another point I don't really understand I did not see the motorcycle I've been I've seen Harley Davidson's GP motorcycles being run over by fucking car drivers and you have to try okay you, you didn't see them I can understand but you try and not to hear a GP motorcycle or a fucking Harley Davidson 10 yards away from you you try and not hear it it's just not possible is it no it's not you will hear it. So, I didn't see the motorcycle, I can understand, but I didn't hear the motorcycle, so I ran him over. I don't. Uh, but I guess... Um, it's my issue or something, I don't know. Buzz. I used to drive the bus all the time. It's fucking lame. Public transportation, I have respect for the people who have to take it every day and actually do it every day, but I can't. Sitting in the bus with a bunch of people, sniffing up each other's bacteria and smells. It's not that I'm antisocial, but usually when the people on the bus stops are not the, the people that sitting on the bus are not people who have a lot of money or are rich. Sometimes they are, they do, but <coughs> it's not a common thing for them to be rich and sit on the bus. Uh, so mostly it's mediocre and no, mostly poor and sometimes mediocre people are sitting on the bus so mostly poor people yeah and that means not that they're dirty and they stink or sometimes it does but sometimes it doesn't Ugh. how do I explain this it's just shit to sit on the bus or on a tram yes we have trams we have fucking miles of tunnel under the ground of trams uh, I've even been driven over by one when I was young. I think it was around my 12th or 14th birthday. The motherfucker just run me over, yes, indeed. Um, it was a woman, by the way. Not that it matters. And it hurts. A lot. So, any advice? 
about trams, buses and all that crap. Don't ever get run over by one of them. Because that will hurt. A lot. And when this turns green, we're gonna run like a motherfucker. I didn't go as fast as I go normally but it's because I have to get used to the quick shift it's a good thing to have but damn you have to get used to that 